Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's overview, the August overview, I'm going to tell you up front, I don't think there's much going on. But I thought it was worth doing an overview anyway because I'll be able to talk you through a really cool astrological discovery that I made this month which was really exciting actually. So I thought, oh, I know, brilliant. I can share that on this video. And I'll cover off a couple of little things, um, seeing since I'm here and seeing since it's been a while since I've uploaded anything. I think the last thing I uploaded was I was at Chiswick Park and I was talking about the astrology of advertising. And yes, I want to do one for each industry if I can, and I am planning to do those. This month, I've just had, I personally have had a tremendous strain on my energy and it's unexplained. I don't know why. Um, actually, well, it's kind of been explained. I've, I've prepared all the mini readings today for all the months and I can actually see in my own astrology, oh yeah, that's why I'm experiencing an energy drain. Uh, but it was funny. I It was made concrete that that's what I was going through. I think it was two or three nights ago, I watched a channeling done by Michaela Sheldon and if you haven't seen her channeling I do recommend it because it's really wonderful. I find it to be incredibly soothing and the information that she brings from her guides is very accurate and amazing and she was explaining that at this particular time some people are going to feel really drained and really exhausted and when I heard that I kind of thought yeah, that's what I've been going through. I've definitely been experiencing some of that. Like it hasn't prevented me from doing my work. I'm still doing my work every day. I'm still doing my readings every day. Uh, I'm still doing my part-time contract that I do in advertising. Everything's running as normal. But, you know, when I have a weekend or when I have some downtime, I've really just been very exhausted. So I've actually kind of... Um, stopped uploading for a little while but I will get back into it don't worry this is just temporary the other thing about me is that I never and I thought I should raise this and share this with you because like even I don't believe this stuff 100% I know that sounds weird <laughs> because I do this for a living like all of my time is spent most of my time is spent now doing readings and, and doing this and I'm really making this my living and I'm making this my life but even still, I take everything with a little pinch of salt and I always believe that I've got free will and I always believe that, you know, I can go beyond the stars and that, um, you know, I, I shouldn't let anything influence me too much because I think I've spent a large part of my healing journey taking power back from places where it was invested. So taking my power back from you know, family, society, friends, um, taking my power back from, you know, and cultural things as well. And, and you kind of think, wow, I've been on autopilot so much in so many ways. And, and, you know, you take your power back. And I do think it's important to, you know, not give, say, for example, an outside system or an outside channeler or an outside coach all the authority in our lives. So, you know, I don't do that either and I wouldn't encourage anyone to do that you know what I mean and as a coach and as an astrologer and as a person who does this work uh, I very much want my clients to be empowered and to question what I say and you know um, retain your inner authority at all times so I thought it's worth mentioning that see I've always got things to say even if the month is quiet and there's not much going on and you know uh, I don't have too much of an overview for the month ahead except for the mini readings I've gone into detail there but I mean I've always got stuff to go through so let me go through the fun astrological discovery that I made <laughs> it was basically um it was basically a few days ago I was in my local cafe reading my favorite book ever Light on Life by Hart Defoe and Robert Svoboda I shouldn't say that too quickly it's a bit of a tongue twister Robert Svoboda 
this is an absolutely wonderful book. I've read, mm, I don't know how many, uh, countless Vedic astrology books now. Um, I've been going through them like no tomorrow. But I'm almost done with this one. It's just outstanding. And I had to share this with you because I just thought this was such a terrific story and such a terrific example of how the industry orchestrates your education in such a marvelous way right so the day before reading this bit that I'm about to read out to you now just the day before I sat down to have my reading session I watched a video by Sasha Baron Cohen now many of you will know Sasha Baron Cohen he is absolutely hilarious he is a British comedian, a British actor. I mean, I think the titles actor and comedian are actually a little bit lame for him because what he does is so much more than that. You know, it's it's almost like he's committing an artistic crime. You know what I mean? Like what he does is actually potentially a bit dangerous um, in that he dresses up and he fools people in power and he fools them and dupes them into revealing stuff that they would never want to have be publicly known but they really do feel that way inside he's quite the comic genius and you know his video came up on my youtube the other day and it was this video titled who is america and i think it's is it a channel called showtime or something like that anyway They've made this wonderful series and I watched, I think it was like a 12-minute clip. Um, was it a 12-minute clip? Let me bring up the clip now actually just so that I get this right because I won't leave a link below. Um, you can search it yourself. And the reason I say that is because it's, it's a bit controversial maybe. Um, maybe I shouldn't be linking to it. I don't know. Okay, it's 10 minutes long and it's called Who is America 2018? First Look, Sasha Baron Cohen. Showtime series. This is outstanding. It's had 13 million views. Yeah, and I watched it when it had about 12 mil million views on there. And I'm watching it and I'm just thinking, wow, he's doing it again. And I watched him when I was a teenager. I used to watch him when he was Ali G, when he first did Borat. And he wasn't really known then. I watched him when I was in Australia and he would, you know, he was kind of doing small-time pranks, um, going to etiquette schools and, and showing those people up and, and things like that. So I watched this video and I'm blown away. And then the next day I'm at my cafe, I've got my astrology book and I read this and I'm going to read it out to you because I think this is just so cool. Hang on, it's not that bit. No, I bookmarked that for some other reason. All right. I'm reading this, so I'll read it out to you. The person born in Ruchaka Yoga will have a long face, will acquire wealth by doing many daring deeds, mm. will be brave, will overcome his enemies, and will be powerful and arrogant. He will become renowned for his merits, will be a leader of an army, and will emerge victorious in all his attempts. And I thought... That, if, if that is not a description for Sasha Baron Cohen, then I don't know what is. That is absolutely perfect. We'll have a long face. We'll acquire wealth by doing daring deeds. I mean, what he does is extremely daring. Daring is the right word for it. I was really, yeah, we'll be brave. I mean, goodness, it takes courage to do what he does. Um, we'll overcome his enemies. I mean... I watched an interview of him with Jonathan Ross and he explained how he's got a legal team to help him because naturally after all these people have been duped and made to look like fools, they all try to sue him. And he's got a legal team which he says is based in India and he hires all these Indian lawyers. And I was so impressed. I was so amazed. And the reason he does that is because Indian lawyers work really, really hard for not so much money and... Yeah, and they, they master all the international laws and they figure everything out. And so he uses a team of Indian lawyers. I was so impressed by that. And he must, I mean, talk about being a leader of an army. He is a leader of an army of 
camera people, makeup people. You should see the makeup that's on him this time. He really transforms and kind of shapeshifts into these very different looking people. So he's definitely the leader of an army uh, and will emerge victorious in all his attempts. This man has been getting away with it time after time after time after time. So I thought, he's definitely got Ruchaka Yoga. I have to look this up. So I looked up the rules for this Ruchaka Yoga because I didn't know this yoga. There are many yogas I know. I know like the, the wealth yogas and if anyone's ever got a debilitated planet, I always look to see, okay, do we have a Nietzsche Bunga Raj Yoga going on here? And, you know, so I'm, I'm up on my yogas. But this was a new one for me. I didn't know this one. So I looked up the rules and it says, if Mars is placed in Aries, Scorpio or Capricorn, and at the same time also placed in any of the cardinal houses of the astrology birth chart, then they have Ruchaka Yoga. And I got this bit of info from a very well-known uh, Vedic astrologer who had an article on LinkedIn. And cardinal houses he means a kendra position so i looked up sasha baron cohen now sadly we don't have his time of birth uh, but it didn't matter because when you look at a person from the moon things are pretty much there like it's i know we're missing out on the degrees and we're, there's, there's a lot of detail we're missing out on but it's good enough to to see if this is there and let me do it now. Let me open him up now. And I know I did say that I wouldn't talk about anyone who's still alive, but I'm not showing his whole chart. I'm just talking about this little teeny tiny bit. And um, and besides, I mean, he's he's kind of invaded a few people's privacy. So I, I kind of think it's okay that on my small time channel, you know, <laughs> it's, not, it's not show time. This is small time. Um, let's bring him up. Oh, I have to look up the other folder, charts from the moon. Here we go. And oh, I have to make the moon the first rotate to this. There we go. Beautiful. He's got Mars in, Mars Rahu conjunct in Capricorn opposite the moon yeah it's that's sitting there in, in the seventh house so that is fame it's it's career so that's seventh house of um, mass fame masses it's tenth house of career fame honors spotlight it's Rahu and Mars together and I think if you were with me last month you would have heard me say that people who have Mars K2 conjunct that you wouldn't want to fight those people whereas people who have Mars Rahu conjunct they want to fight right and boy is this guy up for a fight he is creating like potential fight scenes everywhere he goes he is deliberately going into these potentially dangerous situations I mean what if someone knows that it's him and then they punch his lights out or something? I don't know. I, I don't know what people would do. I, I really don't know. But I thought this was really incredible and, and a really terrific example. And for me, it's such a terrific example of this Ruchaka Yoga. And he does have a long face. I mean, just I read this and I was just like, this is Sasha. And just the day before I had watched that video and I hadn't seen any clip of him or movie of him, or I hadn't seen anything of his for months and months and months. And I read this just the day after watching that little video and I thought, cool. So I'll always, now I have a poster child for this uh, Ruchaka yoga. It's funny, as I learn astrological techniques, I do have my signatures and my go-to people, you know, and yeah, sometimes when I'm working with clients, I was working with one a couple of weeks ago and she was saying, how do you remember all this stuff? And I'm like, I don't know, but I, I do have, I have a sort of odd sort of memory where like I can forget something that happened yesterday, but then I can remember, and, and sometimes I'm terrible with people's faces and names and things like that, but for some reason, memorizing um, yoga signatures and like certain astrological signatures, uh, I do have this bizarre memory for some of those things. So I just wanted to share that with you this month my little discovery 
let's see. In terms of notes, yeah, month overview. I, ha I haven't written much down. I know at the start of this month I was thinking that we might start to see some things go not so well towards the end of this month and we are seeing some fires happening in Athens. Um, so my prayers to, to people out there, um, my prayers and thoughts to anyone in the world who's suffering. I mean, gosh, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's part of, part of earth school, it seems. So, um, yeah, I certainly don't, don't wish to see any more bad things. Um, but I, I hope, and as I say, you know, the end of the month, it might be a little bit hairy at times, but I'm not anticipating anything too much. And next month, I'm not particularly feeling a vibe that there's going to be much changing or happening. So I wasn't too inspired to take too many notes for this month's overview. Uh, I really just had to share that astrological discovery of Ruchaka Yoga and to say if you would like to find out if you have Ruchaka Yoga, then get in touch. Um, and I also wanted to share, I also wanted to share that I've been enjoying the work of Joe Dispenza. And it's really interesting, he's popped back up on my radar after I used to study his stuff ages ago but now he's come back on and a friend of mine she was saying the same she was saying that she's getting back into his meditations as well so I really think that now is a great time to be getting into his work because he really seems to be hitting the scene and really helping people so if that's someone you haven't checked out do do check out Joe Dispenza you can check out Michaela Sheldon, who talks about the energies of this time. She talks about its channeling. It's very different type of stuff, but I love it. And she's the one who mentioned that some people will be energetically exhausted, and that's definitely been me. Uh, I've, I've, oh my goodness, I've been bizarrely, bizarrely exhausted. And yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say, really. And yeah, I mean, some months, it's going to be like that. There's just going to be not much going on. Things are going to move forward. Things are going to get better definitely in September. Um, we do have Mercury going into retrograde now as of mm, in a couple of days for a while, but I'm going to be covering that in your mini readings. So do check out your mini readings. Uh, if you would like a reading with me, then please do get in touch. I am working on a small special offer so if you're interested in um, just a quick Q&A type thing email me see if I'm running that special offer uh, I'm not putting that public just as yet I'm still trialing it with a few people but uh, you know I do have capacity to take on more readings as of I think next week space opens up for me this week I'm too busy but next week onwards I am available to do more work and if you don't know your moon sign then I will leave a link in the description below so you can get your moon sign and if you click on the part one or part two um, I've made it very easy for you all you have to do is click on your timestamp link and you can just jump straight ahead to get your reading and then crack on with your day so I hope this has been fun. I just wanted to do a little check-in. I wanted to say hello. I also wanted to apologize for not posting anything lately. I've just been so exhausted. And I think that that's good. I think sometimes, and I'm trying to lead by example. I'm trying to show that, you know, I can rest and I can just not do stuff. And, you know, I think that's a good thing. So, um but I have lots more to create for you guys. I know last time I did that career astrology and advertising and I want to do them for like banking and working with your hands and gardening and pharmaceuticals and you name it. I want, I want to explore every single career astrologically. So hopefully uh, I'm going to get through more of those and in a bit more of an organized fashion. So watch this space. I've got a lot of content planned and I really think autumn, winter is going to be a time when you know, I'm, I'm hopping on at least once a week. That's what I'm hoping to do. So I just need to get to that place because then night will fall quickly. It won't be roasting hot in here. And um, they design these apartments in the UK for cold weather. 
And when we have a heat wave like we do now, it is really not comfortable. So, yeah. But anyway, I'll see you hopefully in the mini reading. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much for subscribing. By the way, I also have to say that this community has the best people. You guys are awesome. I interact with you in the comments and I'm serious. I could have, I can see myself having like a lunch and coffee with every single one of you and talking about, you know, the mysteries of life and astrology and what it is to be alive. And, you know, you're all deep and incredible people. And wow, thank you. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and being part of this channel. It just makes me so happy to read your comments. All right, well, I'll let you get on with your day, but thank you so much for stopping by.